Welcome to the Neighborhood Series. My name is Sean Larson, real estate broker presenting Neighborhood Tours to help you with your planning as you investigate different communities. If I can answer any questions for you, please let me know. Enjoy today's tour. We are over on the east side of Brentwood today, so we are gonna pop into Morgan Farms here. And it is just off of Split Log Road in Williamson County. And that is on the east side of I-65 and just about a half mile or so from the popular Smith Park. Morgan Farms was a product of Four Star Development and they are out of Texas and so they saw the opportunity here and came and developed Morgan Farms by uh, designing three different phases. The first phase that we are driving through now is called the Manor and it includes homes that are mainly on the front side of the neighborhood. The lots and homes are larger and they're more custom builds and that's kind of typical around here that they, that they have a presentation to the neighborhood before they design and implement the rest of it. So the builders in this section included Turnberry Homes and Barlow Builders. And so the manor is going to include just these first few streets that we take a look at here. The entire development includes just about 175 homes or so. But the manor is going to include the first street that we drove in on and just this street that ends in a cul-de-sac and kind of does a U-turn and circles back to Split Log Road. Now, if you've heard any of the videos I've produced for Brentwood communities, you're going to hear Split Log Road a lot. And it used to be a country road. <laughs> <laughs> quite fitting of the name Split Log Road, but over the years it has turned into pretty much an artery that delivers residents uh, to a number of luxury communities through here. It's currently in planning of further expansion as well because a few more uh, subdivisions are coming online, but Split Log Road in Brentwood ha has become a staple name uh, in the residential area. The next section of the neighborhood that we go through is going to be called the Glen. And this section uh, runs along Barnstaple Lane and that is pretty much the main thoroughfare or main artery through Morgan Farms. Homes in that area were produced by Turnberry Homes. We'll also drive through a third section and that is referred to as the Paddocks. And that phase was built out by Drees Homes. As I mentioned, Barnstaple Lane is kind of the main artery through the neighborhood and at the far end, we're not going to go quite that far on the tour, but it actually terminates there. And as a part of a, a major expansion, they have planned ahead in a lot of these communities that are positioned off of Split Log Road, as well as a number of communities that are on the Franklin side off of Clovercroft Road. And there is a, a street or a road in this area called McEwen. And what it is going to eventually do is uh, it's going to be routed on the back side of all these communities. So a lot of these communities are already planning ahead years in advance for that connection. So they have a series of streets that stub out just temporarily until that uh, route is finished. What that will also do is alleviate traffic off of Split Log Road for commuting. So here we're traveling through the Glen. So all of these homes along this stretch were produced by Turnberry Homes. And you're gonna see a lot of the finishes are pretty much traditional for the area here in Middle Tennessee. A lot of brick, a lot of stone combinations. Brick in general is very popular here. It's popular in the Southeast because we have a lot of clay in the Southeast. And so brick manufacturing is relatively easy and it's re relatively cost effective to get it to the sites uh, for construction in the Southeast. While the tones on a lot of these homes are kind of earth colors, the white house trend really hit our, our area in a big way. So new construction, you're going to see a lot of white finish, you're going to see a light brick, you're going to see painted brick. And so some of the communities that originally had kind of earth tones in their bricks, sometimes now those are being remodeled or, or renovated and they are now painting some of that brick. Morgan Farms started in about 2014 or so, and the construction continued all the way until about 2022, but the bulk of it was done about 2018 or so. 
A lot of times when you have communities build out over a number of years, sometimes there are a few lots that end up kind of being late comers to construction. So there were a few of those in Morgan Farms. So the most of it was built out by about 2018. The home sizes in Morgan Farms range from about 4,000 square feet to over 7,700 square feet, but the average comes in about 5,000 or so. One nice thing in terms of amenities that Morgan Farms did was after the first phase got rolling, they went ahead and built out their amenities. They went ahead and you know, built and finished their clubhouse and they installed their pool and their playground. And you'll find a lot of times in development, that comes later in the game after all of the phases are done. But you know, when you have a community that spans a number of years, people who move in, they want their amenities on the front end. So that was one really, really nice thing that Morgan Farms implemented. In terms of exterior, we mentioned the brick. You're gonna see most of the brick mixed with stone. You'll see a little bit of siding or maybe a little bit of stucco in areas you know, like gables and, and dormers, maybe where brick isn't supported over a roof line or just for a design element. You're also gonna see that three car garages are extremely popular at, at this level. Three, possibly even four. So if you were to turn right at this intersection, you would eventually come out to the termination that I was describing, and that will eventually connect to McEwen, which is a feeder over to the Franklin and Cool Springs area. So a lot of people in this community will be able to take that route and it will alleviate some traffic off of Split Log Road. As is also common in this community, uh, one community can either keep expanding or they simply connect it to another one. So the route we're taking now, we're going to turn around uh, just shortly up the street here. But if you kept going straight, this would roll over into the community called Terramore, which is adjacent to Morgan Farms. Behind us, if you turned around and did a 180, you would then come out in Ingleham Farms. So a lot of the communities here join together. So here we've done a 180 and we're turning back into Morgan Farms to continue the tour of just this community. I've got tours for the other community as well, but we're going to go ahead and stick to just this one for now. The interiors of all these homes are going to include all the features that are common and on trend right now. A lot of these floor plans and these, these homes were built, you know, when open floor plans are popular, they're still popular today. So most of these are gonna have pretty open floor plans. You're gonna have kitchens that kind of roll into one of the living spaces. You'll usually have a secondary living space somewhere, usually upstairs. It could be a bonus. It could be a secondary living space on the main level, but you usually have multiple living spaces. A lot of ensuite bedroom setups, you know, you have individual bathroom per bedroom, a lot of that. And once you get to this, to this type of square footage, you know, the space allows to implement those types of things. You're going to have a lot of vaulted and coffer ceilings. You're going to see a lot of cedar beams inside. Those are really popular. Coffered ceilings, a lot of trim. You're going to see large primary bedrooms and bathrooms, a lot of glass in the shower. Granite and quartz and quartzite countertops, hardwood floors, extensive lighting. You're going to see tall ceilings, you know, 10 foots on the main, maybe nines or tens even on the second floor. So where does everybody go to school if you live in Morgan Farms? Well, zoning changes occasionally around here just due to the growth. But right now, the schools for Morgan Farms right now are Jordan Elementary, which is not too far down Split Log Road. It's a relatively new school at the time of this filming. It was only about five years old. And when they purchased that land, uh, they left enough room that there is a middle school slated for that property as well. And if somebody watches this video in the far future, that middle school is probably already there then. But the elementary is going to be Jordan for a residence of Morgan Farms. It is Sunset Middle. And so Sunset Middle is a little closer to Nolansville. It's not too far at all from here, 
but probably when that middle school gets built on the same campus as Jordan Elementary. My guess is that Morgan Farms and some of the other nearby communities, that middle zoning is probably going to roll over to this new middle school. And that way Sunset Middle can kind of pull some people from Nolansville and they can reallocate where everybody's going. In terms of high school, Morgan Farms is currently zoned for Ravenwood and that is the closest high school here. I'm not sure what exactly it would take for that zoning to change because the next closest one is probably going to be Nolansville High School. And so my guess is that that zoning is probably going to remain for a while. If anybody's looking for private school options, some of the popular ones are going to be uh, Battleground Academy, Franklin Road Academy, and Brentwood Academy. Now, where do I go shop when I live in Morgan Farms? <laughs> where do I go get my stuff? Okay, groceries, retail, services, all that. You've got multiple options. You, you're, you've got options in Nolansville, which is about 10 minutes away. Uh, you've got grocery there. You've got some light retail and light service there. If you go the other direction, if you go west, you are only about 10 minutes from the Cool Springs area. And that is where the Cool Springs Galleria is. And the Galleria is our mall in this area. And it was built in the early 90s. And it just caused the whole Cool Springs area to explode with growth. You have every consumer product and service you'd ever need there. You've got some medical there. You have additional medical down at Williamson Medical Center. And that's at uh, the intersection of I-65 and Highway 96. More medical downtown Nashville, which is about 20 minutes away. You've got Vanderbilt down there, St. Thomas and Centennial. So commuting downtown on non-peak hours is usually only about 20 minutes or so away. Other communities around Morgan Farms, you're looking at Terramore, Allens Green, Glen Abbey, Northumberland, Sonoma, Tuscany Hills. All of those are right around here. So that just kind of gives you some reference for the, the area. And that about wraps up the drive through tour for Morgan Farms. And uh, I, in addition to being a real estate broker, I am also a general contractor. So if I can assist you in any way with buying a home anywhere in Middle Tennessee, if you're looking to build a home from scratch or you need somebody to consult with another builder, I am happy to do that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tour and this drive through Morgan Farms. And if I can assist you in any way, please reach out and I guarantee I'll take great care of you. I hope you enjoyed the tour. My name again is Sean Larson, real estate broker, and I produce this series to kind of help people understand the communities in our area. And that could be if somebody is planning to uh, move and purchase here from afar, and sometimes it's just somebody local and they just want to learn more about the communities around them. I've got many years in real estate. I've seen a lot of these communities develop and build out. I've represented both buyers and sellers, existing homes, new construction. So if you have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out. I am more than happy to answer all of your questions. If you're looking to buy or sell, I'm happy to work with you and represent you in that capacity as well. Uh, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and go ahead and make sure the notifications are turned on. And that way, anytime we upload more data, maybe it's community tours, maybe it's advice on the process, you'll get a notice on that and you can see the video on that as well. So my name again is Sean Larson, real estate broker, and I hope you have a super day.